You're listening to Intellectual Nudity, uncensored, uninhibited, unleashed. The Jose Soto Show. All right, so we have another incident involving the paparazzi and the celebrity. You know, I find these kind of confrontations really interesting. I don't know why. I have a weird fetish for this stuff. <laughs> the thing is, is like, look. I always wanted to be like, I don't know, uh, a movie star. You know, when you're young, you're like, yeah, I want to be a movie star. I, I want to be in RoboCop or something like that, you know. <laughs> um, and now they're making the remake of that movie, and it's going to be horrible, but that's another story. Um, but I always wanted to be a movie star. I don't know why. And now that I look at it, I'm like, N -n -n -n, thank God I'm not a movie star. I, I wouldn't like people following me around and taking pictures of my ass or, you know. Wanting to know what time I take a shit and all that. You know, fuck that. But when celebrities are out there, you know, and uh, they know they have this status. You know, I mean, if you're Champagne or if you're, you know, uh, George Clooney or, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, expect to be followed. Expect the paparazzi to take pictures of you. And, you know, if I was them. And if I had the... Uh, audacity to actually ruin my life like that you know what i would do is i would just sit outside completely naked and let every photographer i'll sit out there for six hours okay the whole day how about the whole day i'll let everybody who's anybody take a picture of my dick which is not that big by the way like hey it's only two inches you probably have to you know get that big old lens with the extra zoom in you know <laughs> we'll take a picture of my cock all right, it's fucking hairy too, so you have to really uh, make it out through all that bush. <laughs> all right, I'll just stand out there in my full body suit, and you can take all the pictures you want. Okay, to satisfy your 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 weird fetish about me. All right, and yeah, I mean it's also kind of creepy that these people are are, are following these celebrities. I, I I yeah, I mean I understand why these celebrities might get mad, you know. It's kind of creepy that uh, you have somebody following you around all the time. And that's how they uh, make their living. You know? That's how they make their money. You know? Taking pictures of, of other human beings. And you have to chase them down and all that. And I'm like, wow. And um, uh, I know this guy who's a paparazzi uh, photographer. And he's just, he's just out there. And you know, one time I had lunch with him. Oh, when was this? I think it was like three years ago when... We were up in uh, North Hollywood, and he was like, oh, wait a minute. Uh, you know, he interrupted everything because he got a text message that so-and-so, uh, I don't know who it was. I think it was uh, Sharon Stone, I think. I think it was. Oh, Sharon Stone's on the way. Uh, I have to get up there and uh, take a picture of her, and uh, I'll, I'll be right back. So he went out, and he left me there in the restaurant by myself for 40 minutes while he's out there making like $100,000. Uh, yeah, because it's the, you know, it's the money, you know. But still, it's creepy. It's fucking creepy as shit. But, you know, if I was a celebrity, for whatever reason, I, I would just go out there and, and just let it all out. You know, I was just like naked right there. So that way, here you go. Here's the my naked pic. Do it. That's it. Did you get it out of your system? Did you have a good time? Did some of you jerk off to it? <laughs> Put it all over the Internet. Put it on TMZ. I don't give a shit. Uh, anyway. Uh, Sean Panson, well, he's in a little bit of controversy here over the paparazzi. Uh, it turns out that, uh, what's his name? Hopper Penn. All right, he's 19 years old. Hopper, what kind of a name is that? <laughs> These uh, liberal Hollywood types. And nothing wrong with being a liberal Hollywood type. I, I'm, you know, I agree with him you know, a lot of times. But, I mean, come on. What kind of, what kind of a name is that? Hopper. It's like the Palins, you know, with their weird names. I don't, you know, their names are so weird. I can't, I can't even remember their fucking names. What, Treg or something? Peg or Keg or Keg? That one I like. Keg of beer. <laughs> oh, wait. Um. Anyway, here's uh, Hopper Pan. Well, he got into a little altercation with a paparazzi photographer. Who was trying to take pictures of him and his dad, uh, Sean Penn. 
And it turns out that he was so pissed off. I don't know. He was in a bad mood. It turns out that he was so pissed. He called the photographer, who was black, the N-word, right? <laughs> and then he called him a faggot. Hey, yo, racist, homophobic slurs. It's kind of funny. I mean, it, it, it's, oh, well, you know, some people say, no, it's not funny. It was, uh, these are slurs. But, you know, for me, it is funny, okay? Because you have the son of a famous liberal actor, super uber liberal. He loves, he loves Hugo Chavez. And, um, you know, he kissed another dude for the Harvey Milk film. Nothing wrong with that. I kiss dudes. I kiss dudes all the time. Okay, huge makeout sessions, <laughs> and so um, you know he's super uber liberal. He he got an Oscar for that. You know he went up to the Oscars and you know he said a speech about hatred and bigotry and all that. And it's just funny that his son goes out there and calls uh, photographers the N word and the F word and all. I mean it's just so fucking. I don't know. It's uh, hilarious. Uh, you know, that's why I, I don't really take Hollywood types seriously. I mean, there's nothing wrong with them. I mean, you know, I appreciate them. They're good actors and all that. I love their movies. But as far as, you know, making them like these sort of activists for a cause or something like that, it's just sort of, I don't know, it's sort of ridiculous. Anyway, well, here's the clip. Let me play it for you. I just want to warn you ahead of time. There is that strong language, I guess. But this is the Jose Soto Show. We're uncensored and unleashed. <laughs> okay, let's do it, baby. All right, here is uh, Hopper Penn. He's walking across the street, and, and then the, he's being photographed. And he lets it out, man. He lets it out. Here you go. Fucking yo, you kidding me? Uh, yo, don't play yourself. Don't ever do that, dude. Don't do that to yourself. You remember, you're a kid. You're a kid. You're a kid. Don't do well, what? That's the kind of that's the kind of talk you're teaching him, Sean? Huh? Oh what? <laughs> oh man, he got him good. Wow. Uh, I don't know if you guys uh, heard that, but. Call him a fucking faggot, and then he call him a fucking nigger. Oh my god, that that's wow. And it's Sean Penn song, by the way. <laughs> oh wow, wow. Ay ay ay. Uh, anyway, Hopper Penn. <laughs> Hopper Penn, uh, he apologized. Oh, he's sorry. I'm very, very sorry for saying the N word and the F word. They're not reflect my father's views. I want to apologize to the gay community and to the black community. Ah, Hollywood. Can't get enough of it, man. <laughs> 